This is a Shields of Shame exclusive. 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 Previously on Shields of Shame. Hi. Yes? you in, like, uniform, man. Do you have any weapons on you? Anything I need to know about? Okay, turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Stop, stop. So you're in violation of a criminal trespass order. You went on Deb's property when you're not supposed to. We can talk about it, but you need to calm down. Calm down. Please calm okay? down. Okay? Calm down. Please and give me your, calm down. Calm down and give me your other arm. He's in custody. He's going to jail. 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 Welcome, esteemed viewers, to another enlightening installment of Shields of Shame. Your unwavering support serves as the cornerstone of our mission to shed light on the reprehensible actions perpetrated by law enforcement officers and officials spanning multiple jurisdictions in the southern United States and beyond. At Shields of Shame, we are committed to amplifying the voices of those who have endured the brunt of aggressive and unscrupulous policing practices. If you or a loved one has been subjected to the injustices perpetrated by law enforcement, we invite you to reach out to us. Your experiences are invaluable in our pursuit of accountability and reform. For further assistance or to share your story, please refer to the contact information provided in the description box below. Together, let us continue our collective efforts to confront systemic misconduct and advocate for a more just and equitable society. In our preceding episode, viewers were introduced to Officer Ryan Muller, formerly employed as a patrol officer within the Lumpkin County Sheriff's Office jurisdiction in Georgia. However, subsequent to his tenure there, Officer Muller has transitioned to the role of sergeant within the Canton Police Department, also situated in Georgia. Of particular concern, Officer Muller, along with his associate Deb, purportedly provided false testimony under oath during the jury trial of an individual identified as Brian. The case in question resulted in a verdict of not guilty rendered by the jury. It is noteworthy that the exoneration of Brian by the jury does not conclude our investigative endeavors. As we continue to delve into matters of legal significance and ethical import, the ramifications of Officer Muller's conduct remain under scrutiny. Case law precedent such as Brady v. Maryland, 373 U.S. 83, 1963, underscores the constitutional imperative to disclose exculpatory evidence, reinforcing the gravity of testimonial integrity within judicial proceedings. As such, the purported transgressions attributed to Officer Muller warrant a rigorous examination in light of established legal principles and ethical standards governing law enforcement conduct. Now we meet another corrupt cop, Charlie Elton Roberts, who is also friends with Deb, and he too wants to prove his loyalty by violating Brian's civil rights. Sit tight and hold on, because this will grow to be a large playlist over time. Thank you. What's going on, Deb? Uh, I was just trying to leave, and mm -hmm. he purposely came outside and stood in the road. I asked him to please move. I have a temporary protective order against him. He approached me twice. I have it on video. And at this point, honestly, that well, is a violation. Okay, where was he right? standing? Just, just, just point at. Tell me where he's at. Just, just tell me where, where, where you were, where he was. I was okay. where you saw me before I backed up so that she could get by. Okay. And uh, like I said, he. Tw I asked him to please move off the road. Because he's not supposed to, okay. like, a temporary protective order means, like, when he sees me, he's supposed to go the other way. Okay. And instead, this is what he does. A temporary protective order, TPO in Georgia, is a legal document issued by a court to protect someone from another person, accused of family violence or stalking. It typically lasts up to one year and may include orders to stay away, no contact, and other restrictions. Violating a TPO can lead to legal penalties, but Brian is at the edge of his driveway. This incident is seven months after the not guilty verdict Brian received in March of 2020. Brian is not on house arrest and is free to travel on or close to his property. This appears to be retaliation for Brian beating the rap in the previous case, where Deb convinced her buddy officer Muller to arrest Brian based on little to no evidence, which was the main issue at trial, along with the deceptive answers provided to the jury. And instead, this is what he does. Like, I'm just, I'm 
I'm over it. I'm over not being able to leave my house. Just, just drive on. No, you don't understand what I've been through with this man. So you're telling me that I should just drive past? Just drive past him. You're trying to leave. He's not blocking your way. He's standing out there, but you can drive past him. Okay, well, he approached me twice. How and that, close? That's How close did he approach you? What did he do? I'm sorry, that's intimidating and it violates a temporary protective order. Okay. Talk to the judge about that. I've okay. already we mediated okay. it. That's he has okay. till the twenty first. Okay. And all he has to do is not do stuff like that and he's never yeah. gonna stop. Okay. So take that with you and show them. There's yeah. it's already done. My temporary order got extended mm -hmm. for an entire year. Okay. It's good to the 21st of November. Yeah. You can't tell me he's not in violation by approaching me and making gestures at me. Okay, he's being stupid, okay? I understand but, that. But he, he's no, he was nowhere near you. He's on the side of the road, okay? I'm going to talk to him, too. Y'all have got to do something about Dude, this. Y'all got to oh. work it out. I know you're frustrated. I understand I'm not that. I'm frustrated, man. I don't do anything to him. And I can't even leave my house without being intimidated. And, like, the whole point of what I have against him is so that I can be in my front yard or leave right. my house without well, being intimidated. Well, well, if, if you're in a car, just drive past him. Just keep going. But I'm going to talk to him, too. I'll be back. you, you got to understand, also, like, this whole thing was planned. I came... Home from work, I was grabbing mm -hmm. the dogs to go for a hike. Mm -hmm. I hear him outside clapping. He's yeah. just waiting. Yeah. I shouldn't have to, like, the whole point of what I've done and the thousands of dollars I've spent is so that I don't have to live like that. I understand that. I, I told you, I'm going to talk to him too. I'll be back. Mr. McNerney, tell me what you what was going on. I just wanted to go by in my yard. We did some gardening today. Um, we're a car over here. Is the camera on? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, this is the kind of thing, sir, that we're trying to prevent. We've had this. Uh, we we put up at this top, you know, all the time with this thing. Um, we went to a. Uh, I know. We went, I know y'all had a mediation. We had a mediation. The next. The next. <laughs> 24 now, hours in now, front here with the okay. radio. I'm going to ask you why you are I'm walking right, her sir. walking I'm her right. way. I'm not walking. Her no, way. no, no, listen to me. Yes, sir. I looked at a video. You're leaning toward sorry, her, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, shaking I'm sorry, at her. I'm sorry, You're I'm obviously sorry. taunting her. I'm li stop. Listen to me. I'm Both of y'all, stop. Leave each other alone. This is absolutely insane. Look at this shit. Look at this crap, sir. This is uh, this is 12:30 in the morning. 12.30 okay. in the morning. Watch and listen to this. Listen to this shit. Okay. 12.30 that's, in the morning. Every and, and that, morning. That's legal. Actually, there is an ordinance in place, and it is incredible this cop does not know the laws. Section 32-4B1. Sound amplification equipment or devices used on privately owned property where the sound produced does not carry beyond the real property line. Section 32-4, B2. Radios, stereo systems, televisions, and other similar audio equipment when the volume does not exceed the volume of normal conversational speech. C, violations. This section shall be enforced by the Lumpkin County Sheriff's Office. Every, it's legal. <laughs> it wakes me up. Okay. It wakes okay. me up. All right. It's still legal for her to drive like that. Not with the noise. Yes, it is. Not There's no the noise, noise ordinance in this county. Okay. No, no, There's no, no noise no. ordinance in this county. Okay. All right, fair enough. Then I will, yeah. I will take yeah. appropriate now, listen, measures, listen. sir. Listen, stop trying to bother her. 
Stop I'm telling to her me. to leave you too, okay? It hasn't But worked. I saw the video. You I saw watched the video? Watch hers. this video. Well, look at this video. I've seen the other I videos. Get 100, I, get 100, I know. I get a million of these Leave things. each other alone. Leave me alone. Tell them to Stop leave bothering me alone. her. Don't I'm get out in the tired. road when she's driving I'm by. I can, I can stand right here. I'm you were out here. Landscape. I saw it. You're, You're out here repair. walking toward her, obviously look trying to this. antagonize her. That is absolutely enough, Mr. McNerney. Look at this. Both of y'all, stop. Don't yell at me. Don't you raise your voice to me. Sir, I can do whatever Don't I want to do. raise your voice to me. Stop bothering her. Stop she this. stops bothering you. Stop this. I've already been Stop with that it. one. No, you haven't. Where well, was it? I heard that one. I did a report. Today. You did a report on this just now? No, just the one now? before. She can play music. Not driving on the road. Yes, she can. The road. This is a basically it's just over one lane. Away. It is it is a one a, lane. I'm go home. Lane. Leave her alone. I'm right here. Stay out of the road when she goes by. Don't look at her. Don't walk toward her. Act like an adult, not I a child. An adult. Then act like one. Then why does that sign need to be put there? Who shits on my lawn? I have no idea. Yes, they, it's them. Of course it's them. I have no idea. I know you don't. You, I'm, yes, not going, well, I'm not going to test it. But listen, leave her alone. Don't antagonize her. Stop acting like a child. And I'm, I'm going to tell her the same thing. They stop, both of y'all, stop it. Over and over and over. We're done with it. That is enough. That's enough. Leave each other alone. That's enough of me. Good. Leave me alone. Go home. I Leave her alone. Home. Get in your yard. You were not a while ago when she was going past. This is listen, what I'm saying, do, do, man. Like, how listen, you... stop playing music when you're going past his house. I know you're doing it to antagonize him no, too, because it's loud. I did a report on it last time. It made it to the paper. Stop! Stop I bothering him. I am not him. doing anything that is okay. abnormal. That man just, just went look. roof okay, roof I know. while you were walking. I know. Over. I heard him. Listen, but 12:30 in the morning, you don't need to have your music turned up loud. Do do your part to try to take it easy too. Knock it off! That's what I'm saying. Oh, stop barking! Would you please arrest him? Sir, you're about to go to jail. Do you understand me? I don't need a lecture. Stop, stop making noise. No one was barking. Sir, stop noise acting ordinance like an idiot, sir. Is there a noise ordinance or not? There's a, there is no noise there ordinance, no but you are ordinance. being a public nuisance uh, now. I'm being a public nuisance. Yes, sir. Take a look at this. Take a no, look at this. I'm through. I can't even come out of my house without the dogs barking at us. We can't Dogs sit. bark. <laughs> sir. We can't sit on our porch. Sir, I'm about to take you to jail if you don't I settle don't down. Know. I am settled down, sir. I am good. Then I be am quiet. A good citizen. Go please back, please. Take, uh, please take care of the situation. We've begged everyone. Stop barking Even, at us. We've been barking. I, people are barking at me all the time. Sir, we've had enough. We've had. We've had a, the. Um, let me think of his name. I'll get the. I'll get the gentleman's name correct. We've had a a major, I believe, come to the house. Yes. That was the day, I believe it was a major, is it a major? Am I, did I get the rank correct? We've got majors here. Okay. And his name was, uh, is simple, Jones Smith, similar to yours, Roberts. May even been Roberts, sir. May even been Roberts. Um, and that was 24 hours after the mediation. The scene, it meant nothing to him. Look at this. She's filming it. Look at this. Okay. There's a restraining order against me, too. Yes. Against her, too. There is. Well, then why don't Stop I walking to toward her and antagonize her. I saw uh, it on video. How about all the videos? We, we have no. hundreds of videos. There Listen to me. Here. You don't have a TPO against her. She's got one against you. We had one, but it was only because of the COVID that we couldn't put through okay. it. So we agreed Mr. McNerney, to the mediation, stop. sir. We agreed to the mediation, stop. sir, in good faith. We've been treated like dirt here and abused. We're no, not you have not. Any. Yes, we have. Not by us. Well, yes, sir. Absolutely. We're not taking it anymore. Okay, what are you going to do? What we're going to do is yes, we're sir. going to continue to assert our ability as best we can to live in a peaceful, quiet, 
use of our home, and we don't have that now, sir. We don't You're have. You're not being peaceful. We, yes, sir. We no, don't sir. have quiet use every You're time. You're not being peaceful. You're not being quiet. Every time they come by. You're being every time they come loud by and night. antagonistic. Not toward you, sir. Every time they come by at night, every single night between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. or 2:30 a.m. Every time they come out, every time they come back. Look at this. Look at that back there. It's the same thing every night. It's all of this has meant nothing. Three years of being tr abused, abused. We're not sir. taking it anymore. Go home. I am home, no. sir. Get out of the street. Yes, sir. Go home. Stop. Stop making noise. When's it going to stop on our end? When are you going to stop that? Probably when you stopped bothering her, too. I'm not bothering. We're, we've had it. We've had hundreds of these. We mm -hmm. have hundreds of these. And she's got it, too. No, not hundreds, sir. We've okay. had enough. You know, 24 hours after the mediation. What does that tell you? 24 hours after? She's what kind legal. of a person is this? What kind of, she's what legal. kind of creeps are we dealing with here? Sir, what we she's can't doing live here quietly. All right. Have a nice evening, sir. You, too. Thank you for your time. I'm enjoying my right. a nice view. Listen, I'm going to continue the landscape. Be, okay. and we're going to and be, be quiet. We're going to tell them to shut the dogs up. Please. Sir. No, sir. And tell them, no, then I'm not going to be quiet. We're not going to take this quietly, sir. All right, sir. I'm giving you fair warning. Prior restraint refers to government actions that restrict speech or expression before it occurs. This form of censorship is generally seen as unconstitutional under the First Amendment of the United States Constitution, which protects freedom of speech in the press. Two landmark cases, New York Times Company v. United States, 1971, and Near v. Minnesota, 1931, established important precedents against prior restraint. In the Pentagon Papers case, the Supreme Court ruled that the government couldn't prevent newspapers from publishing classified documents related to the Vietnam War. Similarly, in Near v. Minnesota, the court held that a state law allowing prior restraint on a newspaper violated the First Amendment. These cases underscore the court's commitment to protecting the free flow of information and ideas and its strong stance against government censorship. Settle down. Okay. Okay. Stop acting up. We're not acting up. Yes, we sir, you are. We want the dogs to stop. We don't want them driving on the wrong side of the road with the radio blaring. We don't want the radio blaring at 2 a.m. That's all. I've said enough, sir. Please have a nice afternoon. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry for your aggravation. Ten four. Deb. It's not right. Listen. Right? Listen to me. It's not right. Listen to me. Stop playing music when you're coming into the neighborhood, okay? All you're doing is, is adding, adding gas to the fire, and you know it. Stop. He says that this. Stop. Listen. All you're doing is making him mad, so he's going to do stuff back to you. It's got to stop. Let's make it stop now. Be the better person. Oh, Just stop. After he barks at Will me you listen twice to me? while you're literally I know here? what he did. I talked to him, okay? Y'all have both got to settle down. You're, start, you're fueling it. He's fueling it. Act like adults, what not children. What you're is both a acting like children. What is order good for? If he is allowed to behave that way. He lives next door. I understand that. That doesn't mean he needs to be out in the street. That doesn't mean he needs to be shaking I know his that. chest at me. I know this, okay? Listen, stop aggravating him. Don't come driving through with the music blaring. There's no need of it. Oh Wait till you get gosh. out of the neighborhood, okay? Wait till you get out of the neighborhood. What I... Dude... There's... I know there's no... There's no <laughs> ordinance against it. But... Literally, just be, just be. that thing in the paper, I'm yes. not kidding you. I actually sent it to my attorney yeah, yeah. and said, see, I'm not the only one who likes loud music. I literally didn't even know it was me. It That's was. how much I'm not yeah, trying yeah. to right. antagonize so, well, him. How about, but how what about I'm thinking telling about you is when he purposely watches for me to come and go from this house and him or his wife purposely come out and then even in front of you, twice. I heard it. And he, that is textbook he is violating the protective order he is not supposed to speak to me he is not supposed to make any gestures to me he is not supposed to approach me and he's done all three things i will literally. put this in my report i'm going to do a report on this okay talk to the judge
Dude, all I'm saying is like, but, but dude, when listen, this ends on the 21st, so just, just turn, man, I hope just turn, like, whatever just turn happens, down. I hope whatever happens when I actually lose my protective order yeah. on the 21st, like, give me a break. Then he's just back to being able to be as crazy as he wants. Just get another one. I can't get another one unless he violates this one. Well, that's what that's what this that's report will go here. to. Yes, I'm right. I'm he should have been report. arrested on what okay. he well, what I have him okay. on video well, for I'm, and what okay. he did in front of you. I'm writing the report. I will turn arrested. this over to I will turn this over to our to our uh, our investigators, and then we'll see where we go from there. But right now, I'll do a report for you. Seven thirty-three, Lumpkin. Case number harassment. But seriously, uh -huh. do your part. Try to try to t tone it down, okay? Trust me. Please, man. Trust please, me. stop. Listen to me, both of y'all. Stop. Leave each other alone. This is absolutely insane. So that way he won't have any more any any, any ammunition. He will do it no well, okay. What. Well, at least he won't have anything on video saying that you're doing something. Okay. That I listen to music when I come home it's loud. from work. It's loud. Yeah, because it's freaking late at night. Yeah, twelve thirty in the morning, one o'clock, whatever. That's loud. That's seriously. That for most a people don't keep for most a people right. Most pe most people home don't keep after working a twelve-hour shift. I know, shift, I know, but you're right. Normal. But I'm not going to argue that. All I'm saying is, literally, what I have him on yeah. video doing is violations, and, and what he did and I'll in front put that of you. In, and I'll put that, and I'm going to document all of this. Okay. I promise you, I'll document it. But, like, help yourself by turning the, turning the music down, okay? It doesn't matter. Well, do it anyway. Try for a while, okay? Try it for a while. Turn it down. You're right here at home. Turn it down right before we get here. Turn, I, turn what, it up I before, right after you leave. Too loud. That's why he decided That's to one of get his things. He's, he's, well, he's, show, he's showing Just me videos. Just now, so that, I can't freaking take my dog somewhere. You can go. Drive around him. Just keep going. You don't understand the things that he said and done okay, when well, I am not quick enough with my camera. I understand. I've been looking at all these reports. We've been dealing with this for months. But. Do your part. Yeah, try you to try to tone it down, Deb. With it, I know. To... I, I understand, but try to tone it down, okay? Please. That will it will help you. It'll help your case. I'm, I'm trying to help you, Deb. Okay. Will you just stay here while we leave? Sure. All right. Thank you. Y'all, be safe, okay? And, 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 and please, please just try to yeah, tone it down. Me, at least, it sucks for a while. to feel unsafe I, on I my know, own freaking street. I know, but I understand that. But if y'all would just please try to tone it down for him. To, uh, to, that way, Dude, that way if something... Down. Okay. That's why I don't I have a... St right. He still has to answer for right. a violation right. of a criminal okay. trespass. So, so we've got... So we do this report. He will... You talk to your attorney about it too. They'll have they'll have the, the documentation. You've got it on video. Okay. I'm trying to help you. I know. I'm just. But, but we're frustrated too. You know. Right. You're gonna be okay, Deb. Let, let me get this report knocked out. Thank okay? you. Yeah. Signal 40. 
three Lumpkin, ten twenty three. Swing your legs out, lean forward, watch your head. Come over this way, sir. Over here to the wall, turn and face the wall. Right over here, sir. There are five main fundamentals of the First Amendment. Let's look at each and how they could potentially apply to Brian's case. Freedom of the press protects journalists and media organizations from government censorship, enabling them to publish news and information freely. Case Law, New York Times Company v. United States, 1971. The Supreme Court ruled that the government couldn't prevent newspapers from publishing classified documents related to the Vietnam War, affirming the freedom of the press. In this video, Brian was reporting on events in his community. By documenting misconduct and noise ordinance violations, this cop did not even know simple ordinances that most cities have, and this law is common. Freedom of speech ensures individuals can express their opinions, beliefs, and ideas without government interference, encompassing various forms of expression. Case Law, Brandenburg v. Ohio, 1969. The court held that speech advocating for violence or illegal activity is protected unless it incites imminent lawless action. In the scenario described, when Brian was expressing his concerns, he was met with the potential use of prior restraint, potentially violating his First Amendment rights. Freedom of expression encompasses speech, press, assembly, and petition, granting individuals the liberty to convey their thoughts and viewpoints through various mediums. Case Law, Texas v. Johnson, 1989. The Supreme Court ruled that flag burning is protected symbolic speech under the First Amendment. In the scenario described, Brian's action of barking as the officer walked away could be considered expressive conduct falling within the realm of protected speech. However, it's important to note that while the First Amendment offers broad protection for expression, there may be limitations or consequences depending on the specific circumstances and context of the speech or conduct involved. Freedom of assembly protects the right of individuals to gather peacefully for protests, demonstrations, and other forms of collective expression. Case Law, NAACP v. Alabama, 1958. The court affirmed the right to associate freely, ruling that Alabama's attempt to compel the NAACP to disclose its membership list violated the freedom of assembly. In the scenario described, since Brian was on the public road at the edge of his lawn, he was exercising his right to assemble peacefully in a public space, which is protected under the First Amendment. As long as his actions did not pose a threat to public safety or obstruct traffic, he was within his rights to engage in such activity. Freedom of religion prohibits the government from establishing an official religion and guarantees individuals the right to practice their faith freely. Case Law, Engel v. Vitale, 1962. The Supreme Court held that state-sponsored prayer in public schools violated the Establishment Clause, affirming the separation of church and state. Additionally, it's important to note that while individuals, including law enforcement officers, have the right to express their religious views verbally or with an item, such as wearing religious attire or carrying religious symbols, they must do so in accordance with the Establishment Clause of the First Amendment. This clause prohibits the government from establishing an official religion and ensures the separation of church and state. Therefore, while officers have the same rights to freedom of religion as any other individual, they must exercise those rights in a manner that does not endorse or promote any particular religion while acting in their official capacity.